Here he comes. Just act natural. Jamal, I just had the greatest idea. Oh crap, not again. Oh yeah? What is it? I figured out how to drive more traffic to my YouTube channel. I'm gonna film all my YouTube videos on the roof. <gasps> Rick, you make dancing videos and the temperature is below freezing. Uh, yeah, I know that. Dancing videos on a frozen, slanted rooftop where the only thing down below is an even more frozen, solid ground. You know, it's weird. I'm hearing an awful lot of explaining and not enough congratulating. You are absolutely right. Congratulations on your brilliant idea, pal. That's better. Thanks so much. Hey, before I forget, what time is this brilliant idea taking place? Huh? Oh, 4 p.m. tomorrow, thanks for asking. Oh, that reminds me, I gotta go prepare. I'll see you later. <laughs> all right, take care of yourself. Oh, and don't forget, work smarter, not harder, all right? I gotcha. All right, have a good one. Nine one one. What is your emergency? Yes. Hi. Um, I'd like to schedule an ambulance for four p.m. tomorrow, please. It doesn't have to be the latest model. Just anything you have lying around will be good. Sir, ambulances are for emergencies only. I don't see your point. An emergency is the reason why I'm calling. Uh, Jamal, the point is you can't plan to have an emergency. Wait. I never told you my name. Yes, you did. The. Fifteen other times you called and tried to schedule an ambulance, and every single time I told you the same thing. No! Hey, whoa, whoa, don't take that tone with me. A guy calls fifteen different times to reserve an ambulance, and you never once think to tell the police? You see, what had happened was... I mean, it's not like you had to look up the number. All right, you made your point. Look, I'm sorry, I didn't call to argue, it's just... Okay, the truth is, it's my brother. He's clinically dumb. Jamal, that's a pretty rude thing to say, don't you think? Oh, is it? Well, the reason I called is because he wants to film dancing videos on the roof of our house. Jamal, I can't just... The roof? He does know it's below freezing outside, right? Of course he does, but that's not all. In high school, when we took the career placement test, his results came back as, wait for it, Cartoon character. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This is so unprofessional. That's my bad. That's my bad. Oh, don't be sorry. You can laugh, but that's not even the funniest one. <laughs> Buddy, it, 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 it can't get worse than that. Last week, I stopped him from sticking a spoon in a beehive because, and I quote, he said he wanted that fresh, fresh honey. Guess what he's allergic to? Well, well, my best guess would be bees. Wrong. It's honey. This dude was going to fight a swarm of bees to eat something that was going to kill him anyway. Hey, hey are you all right? You good? <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. All right, <clears throat> all right, Mr. Lucas, you win. You win, we'll schedule your ambulance. Cool, thank you. All right, let's see. Ooh, are you all right, you good? Well, we have one, but it's all faithful. She's got a family of raccoons living in her. She takes about 45 minutes to start and, like I thought, she doesn't have any seatbelts. We doing this or hey, as long as it can be here about 4 p.m. it's all good good to hear good to hear further instructions will be given to you on the ride over i'm not getting in that death trap well he can't ride in it alone no 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 there's supposed to be an emt back there well we're not risking our workers lives like you said it's a death trap 
Okay, well, what about the driver? Actually, we don't like him all that much. Hey, that's not fair. Now yeah, shut up, Louie. You know what you did. I hate it here. You know what? Just forget it. I will think of something else. Have a nice day. Oh, and don't call me no more. Hold up. You called us. Hello? Hello? Man, I'm not dealing with this anymore. You on the block list. The 911 block list. You and your entire bloodline. Everybody you've ever known. Even your family garbage man. On the block list. Believe this. You know what? Plan B. We're just gonna throw an old stank mattress on the front lawn and pray for the best. Oh, my nerves. Okay, so the biggest takeaway I want you to get from this video is that 911 dispatchers and people that work in call centers, they have a lot of power over you. So please be nice. It's in your best interest. All right, that's all I have for you today. As always, don't forget to smash that like button, comment down below, tell me what your favorite part was, and subscribe if you have not already. Oh, and don't forget to hit that bell notification so you're notified every time I upload. And as always, I'm Jamal Lucas, but we are Leisure Laugh Studios. See you later. <laughs>